Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the extremely classic Full Throttled Remastered. Yes, the 1995 excellent point and click adventure game is on Xbox and even better, is on Xbox Game Pass right now. It has to be said though that this has been on the PlayStation since 2016 so wondering what the holdup was really. <laughs> But anyway, this was developed by Double Fine, Shiny Shoe, and published by Xbox Game Studios. Now, as I said, it is available for £9.99 to keep, but being on Game Pass right now makes it better. So go, go, go! So we play as Ben Throttle, hell of a name, an ass-kicking badass leader of the pole cats who gets inevitably caught up in all of the motorcycle gang-related stuff. The murdering stuff, the mayheming stuff, and genuinely just effing stuff up. This is an incredibly fun game and it is easy as well as we can get this done in around 1 to 2 hours. Achievements wise there are some story related ones but there are a lot of missable ones as well. So be sure to follow the guide carefully as I explain. Now as you can see you can go into the game settings, turn subtitles on or off if you want. I just put them on just you know makes it more fun for me I suppose. Um, but another big point is, you can skip dialogue in the game with the A button, but some cutscenes you absolutely must not skip. And this is a prime example. So this cutscene you can skip by holding the B button, but do not hold the B button on this bit. When you see this scene right here, do not skip this cutscene. There is an achievement related to uh, watching this cutscene in full. It does take quite a few minutes, around four or five minutes, so I've actually uh, cut this cutscene in half and I've just gotten to the point where we will see the achievement. Remember if you skip this cutscene you will not get the achievement. So when you are talking to uh, tall head Rip Burger right here, hell of a head, and apparently nobody can see in this game, um, this is where the achievement will unlock as soon as you get smashed in the noggin hole. So again, some cutscenes you can skip, some you can't, I will always let you know when we get there. So, I'm pretty sure that is everything, so we can actually <laughs> finally move on with the game now. As I said, this first cutting is going to take around a couple of minutes, so, you know, be, uh, be prepared to just have a wait and have a, have a good time. Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll them, boys! Yahoo! Corville, here we come! Right then, so we can finally now play. You've got all the controls. Um, it's pretty much just normal sort of point-and-click adventure stuff, really. But what we're going to do first is not touch a control at all. Yes, we're going to have to wait yet another couple of minutes, basically, for a sort of screensaver to happen, and that is where we unlock the second achievement. By the way, achievements are going to come flying at you more than a uh, fat kid in a bukkake cake party. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get the bukkake joke in there somewhere. But we are going to be unlocking it a lot. On average, I'm sure it's about an achievement on average every sort of 45 seconds or so. So that's always nice, but we do have, again, this is going to take a, another three minutes or so to unlock. Obviously, I've just cut it down for time in the video, but now we can move on. So, obviously, move the cursor with the left directional stick, press A to click on the bin, and Mr. Throttle will come out. So, the first thing we're going to do, uh, click A on the dumpster, and then move up once until you've seen the uh, licking sign on the skull right there. And we're going to be doing this with about 10 items. So again, click A, move up once like to the uh, Licky Licky. And this is the majority of how we talk to people as well. So you click on a character, say, uh, if you want to look at something, you click up twice with the skull's eyes bulge out. If you want to kick things in, obviously you've got the shoe on the left and the uh, fist on the right for action. So as you can see where the, right, where the arrow is right there, to move across, we're going to be licking a few more things. I mean, can you imagine actually seeing a hard-ass motorcycle guy like this walking around licking ten things? But still, you wouldn't say nothing because you don't want to get your ass bummed. Beaten and bummed. There's nothing worse than that, I don't imagine. Um, 
But yeah, so I just you got the kickstand, the motorbike. Uh, there's a window right here that we can lick as well. Again, there are obviously plenty. You know, there's way more than ten items in the um, in the entire game, but obviously we'd just like to get it done as quick as we can. So you can actually lick the door as well, or you can try. And then when that's done, just move over to the boot, and then kick it in, and then walk in. And we are going to get the achievement. Again, with dialogue, you can actually hold B to skip it when the dialogue's in-game like this, or press A to quickly uh, move through it. Uh, so go up to the piano in the back and lick that. And you can lick the register as well with a hell of a mighty tongue. I don't know how he's trying to, uh, trying to do that. Maybe he's got a tongue like the guys from Kiss. And then for the last one, then, lick the monitor, and that should unlock us the achievement. Again, it's literally no worries if you haven't got it at this point because there are plenty of items you can do to lick. Then what you need to do, click on the bartender, move left to the fist, and what we're going to do is pr pretty much knock him out. But that does unlock us another achievement. Now again, most, most of these scenes like that I will skip and just get through uh, really quickly. Uh, again, that's just a save time in the video so we can move on. But of course, by all means, feel free to uh, keep watching. We fist the bike. <laughs> fist the bike. Not literally fist the bike. But obviously, um, yeah. So click on the bike, use the fist option, and then we can go. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat hot show? Yeah, then you're in my way. So here we are, then this will be our first fight. As soon as you see the prompt at the bottom right hand corner, you press A to attack this guy. So you slam through this dialogue if you want, and then just keep slamming the A button to attack. You can also press X to switch weapons, which we don't have yet, but we will get a bit later on. So for now, just move over as close as you can to the guy, and just knock him off using the A button. Here we go. Got your biceps out, man. Come on. Attack. Press A button. Quick. As many times as you can. You know, you can't really dodge, but you can just keep um, spamming the A button, and eventually, dude goes down, and we win. And we also get another achievement for it as well. Because all bikers talk like this, right? <laughs> so this is another missable achievement. What we need to do here is talk to Maureen, again, click on her, and then go up once uh, with the skull tongue. And there'll be a whole lot of conversation dialogue. Now, we have to go through absolutely everything, but make sure not to press the very bottom option, which is, well, I better get going or something like that. Do not click that. But each time you click a dialogue option, that sort of has, it's sort of like a branch tree of dialogue options. So you'll ask her one thing, and then you'll have to ask her a whole lot of things. So literally, you're just going to say, you're just going to click on absolutely every single dialogue option. If you keep going, um... Uh, keep clicking how's it look and it's just the same option that means you're done with that so that's fine so you just click the, the one below it and the one below it etc you've probably done it in games before haven't you but again as long as you make sure not to press the bottom option well i better get going then you will unlock the achievement for talking to her about everything where am i gonna find well you can stop you run such how am i where's the gas well there's a whole actual good How's it look? We need new. So when we get the achievement of knowing mowing, no mo, then we can actually move on. Mo mo mo. Anyway, at the back there, you can just see the photograph. So click on the photograph, move up twice, so the uh, eye bulging eyes come out of the skull, and that gets us the minking memories achievement. And just to the right of us on the floor is the gas can. So use the fist icon to pick that up. And then what you'll need to do then is where where our character is, where Ben is, there is the hose. So click on his junk, 
<laughs> with the hose and then click the fist icon again, that will get uh, <laughs> put the Hosing the gas can together, sorry, I, I bloody had to laugh. You can see how well I better take off at this point. Don't need to talk to this guy, gal, sorry. And then move to the very left of the screen. Sorry, I had to laugh. We were clicking on his hose. Um, that, must have, that must have been intentional. Clicking on his junk and it was called a hose. Childish stuff, I'm very, very sorry. Anyway, uh, the uh, put the arrow just underneath where the big building is. And this that is where we're going. We're sort of going to this sort of trailer park right here. Now there is another achievement, uh, I do recommend saving, as a few people have had problems unlocking this and glitching it. I'm not really sure, I, this is the way I've done it anyway, so what you'll <clears throat> have to do, uh, click actually on the door, so you'll have to bang on the door first. Uh, you can't speak on the door, actually bang on the door, so use the fist icon on the door first. And then, what you need to do, as many times and as quickly as you can, just use the uh, dialogue option. So use the tongue of the skull, so click on the door, use the tongue of the skull, and then just click the... Um, when it gets to those little cutscenes there, just hold B to skip. Um, just keep doing this until the achievement unlocks. Now, I think people were just slamming through with the dialogue options using the A button. And that's why it wasn't unlocking for some people. Um, but this is the way I've done it. So as soon as this cutscene happens, press the B button to skip it. And as soon as you can, use the tongue on the skull to talk. And then eventually the achievement should unlock. But again, as long as you've made that manual save, it, again, it can take around 10 to 15 attempts. About a minute or two. Give it. Folks are there you go, you no Quick. Hit the head. What do I What do you want? Has dripped down. What do I have to There you go, you no Get you. I got a guy coming. This is the police. Enough. What do you want? I'm selling these fine. Get your greasy, oily, leather wear. I got a guy coming. So when the achievement unlocks, we can finally stop talking to him, go ahead, click on the door again and use the boot this time to knock this chubster the fudge out. So once we're in the trailer, have a look at the back, uh, make sure it's clicked on refrigerator and open it up using the fist icon. Of course, we also unlocked another achievement there. And then grab the meat, or whatever it is the hell that is inside the fridge. So you've got to be sometimes a bit, it can be a bit finicky. But you will get there eventually, so grab the meat. Don't grab your own meat, grab the, the meat. Um, the cabinet, that is above the uh, fat guy's head. And then grab the lockpick, that is inside it as well. And then just to the left of the door, or the right, uh, you go down an elevator, click on it, and we will go down. Uh, not a lot to do in here, all we're really doing is grabbing the torch, which is just to the right to the, of the table, that will get us achievement. And we're going to speak again to Mo, Mo, Mo. But we can actually just skip that cutscene and then move forward. So go to the left and then the very top right hand corner, that is where we are going next. You can actually uh, skip this scene by, uh, when you click A to go to a place, you can actually just skip it to get, uh, to get there quickly by pressing the X button, I believe. Apologies, I can't remember if it's the X or the uh, B button on that one. Um, but use the right bumper or left bumper to scroll across to your inventory and grab the lock pick. Then click on, obviously, the lock on the door. And that will get us the not so tough after all achievement. So, constantly going, constantly going. Make sure to pick up the lock on the ground before you uh, enter through the door that you just lock picked. Now, with this bit, this is slightly timed, but all we have to do is... Uh, click the ladder once, so use the fist icon on the ladder, and then immediately, the top left-hand corner where I put the icon, as soon as the alarm goes off, you need to sort of uh, hide a little bit. So right where I put the icon on the left-hand corner, just click that immediately, and you should be fine. This is basically going to unlock us another achievement. Now can I make the joke? Right, thank you. Uh, what I was going to say is, don't beat your own meat in the presence of a fat, unconscious guy. You could go to prison. I've been trying to say that for a, a couple of minutes now. Anyway, so we get that achievement. Now we can go and actually siphon the gas is what we are doing. So we're going to need to use our gas can on it. 
uh, and uh, again right bumper or left bumper to scroll through your inventory uh, stick your hose in it and then stick the gas can at the bottom um, but we've actually got to do it ourselves, of course so use your mouth on the hose that is not a sex joke but it's still funny and then that siphons it we get an achievement and we all have laughs because you've just sucked a hose <laughs> And the way you ran then, all the petrol came out anyway, so happy days. So, again, you can cut, so skip all the cutscenes there with Mao. Don't worry about her, we're going to go back to the left again. Past this chick reading the paper. And this time we're going to go into the very big uh, sort of looking building, which is the junkyard on the very left hand side. So, first things first. Right at the very bottom, get your lock pick out again, right bumper, left bumper, and then use it on sort of the bottom of the entrance door right there, the uh, uh, metal shutters. I almost forgot what I was going to say then. And then use the rope. Uh, obviously, you'll have to click the fist icon on it, and that'll make us climb up. Ah, uh, junk. So we can skip this little cutscene here and basically just click on the uh, ground underneath you and we'll basically be walking. So walk all the way to the right side of the screen now. Look at that brave, brisk walk. That is the walk of a man. Until you see the arrow pointing us to uh, go into the next area. And you see the dog there? Well, he is going to lick our ass, kick our ass cement, get the meat out and then put it on the blue car closest to you. Obviously, that was the meat that you should have got from the refrigerator from the uh, fat guy's trailer. So, for some reason, he, he's locked in a car now. That's good for us. So, we're going to go uh, back left and then up. The, you see where I put the arrow. That is where we're going to be climbing up the crane. Okay, so this is easy enough then. It's got everything on the screen anyway. So, you move the magnet with the left directional stick. And then when you hover it over the car, which you can tell by the shadow. And if you can't see a shadow, then you're just going to have to guess a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, press the A button and then uh, you uh, raise and lower the magnet, also using the left directional stick, up or down. Move it up. Move it on up. And then that should be good. So now we can back out of there and head back down. This time we're going to head all the way to the left. right here right next to the lamppost uh, use your fist there fist some junk and we're going to go back to mo 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 right in the junk <laughs> that's funny well that's it I'm scaring away my regular customers so we can skip these next few sort of cut scenes don't worry about this one don't worry about that one um Skip it. We're gonna drive down to this bit, but we actually need to go into the right top corner that kind of building right up there So I don't know why he just doesn't get his bike, but that's okay uh, Enter through the already lockpick door which we did earlier on and this time we can climb the ladder with nay issues Again anytime we need to actually use an item you need to fist it using the fist icon And now this cutscene we are going to have to watch the entire thing. Obviously, I've cut it down for a little bit of time saving in the video, but be warned, this is another two to three minute cutscene, but you have to watch this one to get another achievement related to it. I haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No, we're in it. Put my head in a best. Marine. There's Moe's shack. Maybe I beat them here. Well, 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 were you shocked at that cutscene? Oh, disgusting. Anyway, click on the debris, which is to the right of the ladder. Of Mo Mo Mo's ladder. Mo's picture Obviously, use the fist icon on it to use it, which is going to have a little look at the uh, camera and a picture.
And we're finally going to be riding our bike for reels and proper and reels at this point. So go left here, obviously. Uh, but this time we're not going to a place. You see the bike is just sort of at the bottom of the screen right there. Click on it. Click the fist icon on it. And then what you need to do is go straight up. And as long as the arrow is sort of black and yellow like it was there, going straight up. That basically means we are hitting the open road. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Going places that I've never been. Anyway, once we're here, click sort of on the right of the building. Uh, as long as the arrow comes up, we're going to go to the uh, alley where we started the game in the bin. And click on the bin. <laughs> we're going to have a little speak with Miranda. And we're going to get another achievement. So, I told you it's that fat kid bukkake party. Hmm. No, I'm going to have to get a new joke one of them. I'm going to have to get a new one, I think. Now we can actually click on the building to go inside. Hey, killer. Hey, killer. And again, this bar is going to look obviously very familiar. We were here at the very beginning of the game and we got whacked in the head. But have a look at the TV at the top of the screen and then about three or four times just take a look at it. You can uh, skip all the dialogue and everything, but just keep looking at the, uh, the uh, TV screen with the eyes on the skull. Uh, do this about three or four times to get another achievement. He's up to some. He wants us. So make sure to get that achievement before we move on. And all we're doing is moving on is talking to the guy stabbing his own bloody hands on the table. Uh, click on him, talk to him, again using the tongue on the skull icon by going up once and then click I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna. And then just say let me show you how to do that. And then say let me show you how to do that. Then keep going and keep going and keep going until he finally gives in and he goes, Ruff, God damn it, fine. And there we go then. And that unlocks the achievement straight away. And then we can just back out then if you want, unless you want to see you get stabbed. I don't know what people are like with blood. I mean, women are probably used to it now once a month and that, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We're going to be using the police badge. Which we, uh, or the ID we just got from Miranda, and we're going to use it on Stabby McJoe right there. What if they search the back and find my bike? Again, just uh, skip all the cutscenes, we're all good at this point. And when we arrive here, have a look at the sort of open door, which is sort of the only lonely shack, and then have a look at the picture on the wall. All we need to do is just look at it, and that's going to unlock us yet another achievement the hard tale. Shiva Montio. And then from here then we need to be grabbing the pillow at the back. So you you can click on the banner at the bed, but we actually need the pillow. And we need to grab that. So that's what you need to be doing. And then there's a tire iron underneath it, so grab that as well. And then uh, again scroll over with the right bumper to get your tire iron out and then use it on the container at the bottom of the bed. Or the lock chest or wherever you're from, whatever the hell you want to call it. And unless there's riches in here, I know. Well, we got a hose anyway. I suppose we literally could have got one from somewhere else, but it's all good. And these next few cutscenes as well, you can just keep skipping until we get to sort of a sandy lorry tippy over sandy bit. This part. So first things first then, grab the fertilizer, which looks like sand, unless it actually is fertilizer, but it's actually fertilizer and it's not sand, uh, but we need to grab some first anyway. So make sure to uh, make sure you actually see him putting some in his pockets. Trust me, this will come in handy a lot later, I know it always seems mad, but it does. Go ahead, use the tire iron on the uh, parked trailer or lorry or whatever it is, but go ahead and use the... Uh, uh, tie Ryan on that. We're going to loosen some bolts. Well, that's all of them. Can't be... And then just click on the actual trailer itself, or the, yeah, the semi trailer, and then click the boot icon. And we're going to push that over to kick more fertilizer on it. And again, it may seem crazy, but it's always for a good cause.
What a mess. I don't walk. By the time we finally get back to the fertilizer park, click on your bike and then click up on the screen, which is sort of south. So go ahead and click that. There's two ways you can go, and obviously we're going this way. We need to be enticing our enemies to come this way. All we have to do is an absolute nothing. There are a bunch of exits on this road that you can take, but they literally lead nowhere, and we actually need to do this bit first. So anytime you see an exit coming up, just completely leave it, and a cutscene will automatically play out by itself. So now that we've tripped up the two idiots, um, <laughs> they've just been fertilized. Uh, when we get to this bit, all we need to we can just click uh, left on the screen to go back, sort of the way we came. And this time, we're not just going to be leaving it until a cutscene appears. So again, as you'll see, you'll see uh, mine road for right, mine road for left. But as soon as you see a big stop sign in the middle of your screen. That is the exit that we need to take. So hover your finger, uh, hover your thumb over the A button, and as soon as you see that stop sign, which is right in the middle of the screen, then that's the exit that we need to take. There, right now, there it is. Happy days. So we are back with the uh, car. I don't know where the hell the uh, big semi trailer's gone, but that's all good. Use the tire iron on the actual car. And that is going to grab us a little item. We're going to pop it open and grab a uh, grab an item from in there. And then when we're done here, we can actually jump back on the bike and this time go north. So the arrow pointing down on the screen. And this time we can actually take the first exit that we come across, which is mine road dot four arrow right. Or even it's an arrow left. And just uh, take a little little ride along until we get to Father um, Father Jack from Father Ted. A bit less alcoholic and a bit more bikey. Father Jordan. And then just slam through all of the dialogue, you can do it as quick as you can, and again that unlocks us another achievement called Talk Talk. Luckily it's not the uh, useless internet provider, but actually the car manly talk. Yeah. What's up? Watch out, don't. How did it cave? Well, special and other. It's what's me. It blew up. Well, cave. Where? So the end. Can't eat to. Give him hell, go get. And welcome then to genuinely one of the most long-winded sections in the entire game. Now, what we need to do, we go, there's going to be about four or five different bikers. So we've got the big bald fat guy, and what we need to do for an achievement is take every single weapon. So just go straight into him and press the A button, of course, to attack. And as you can see, he's got a mace on him. So you know, try and uh, try and sort of hit, go left and right, just to avoid a couple of uh, hits to the old noggin, to the old chin. It really doesn't matter if you do get knocked off the bike because you'll just sort of pick yourself up and go again. But every time you hit uh, one of these guys off, it gives us the weapon, which again is what we need. So we've got the mace, so that's always a very good start. <clears throat> and the bikers always appear at random. So you could be lucky and get everyone that you need straight away. Or you could be waiting about 5-10 <laughs> minutes for the next one that you need to appear. 
So basically, we don't need to hit the ball guy again because we got his weapon. Now this is an important achievement. When you see this red-headed chick without the hat, uh, switch weapon with the X button to get the fertilizer and then use the fertilizer. This this woman has the chainsaw and to get the achievement you need to get the chainsaw with the fertilizer. If you didn't use the fertilizer you will have missed out this achievement but you can uh, quickly nip through with chapter select later on anyway but obviously it's best to get it now so again when you see the redhead chick without the hat press X use the fertilizer to attack and then we get the chainsaw but we also get the achievement as well and now for this guy you can literally use the chainsaw now if you want it, um, or the mace, whatever you prefer. <laughs> you can just whack him out uh, with either one, but we're all good. Uh, but he doesn't actually have anything, so we'll just keep moving on. Uh, basically now, the next few, all we're looking out for is a guy now with the rocket sort of booster. Um, and again, it'll all be random. You might get him straight away, or you might get a few which you don't need to get. Oh, come on, she's only asking us a question. Yes, we are a polecat. Now have a mace in your face, isn't that okay? Yeah, get spiked, biatch. Anyway, like I, said, like I said, we've got a few now that we don't need, but on the PlayStation, when it came out on the PlayStation, you could actually skip um, people that you've already fought. Uh, sadly, you can't, you can't do this on the Xbox. So you have to just sort of... Keep attacking and keep struggling through again. She's going to knock me the fudge out here. <laughs> nice one, you son of a bitch. Thanks for that. But again, we just dust ourselves off and go again. So, like I said, you would have had... You would hit the ball guy off to get the mace. And then you would have had to use the fertilizer on the red-headed chick without the hat. And that would have got us the chainsaw plus the achievement. And now we are looking for the guy with the rocket booster. And like I said, it's random, so you might get it now, you might not get it. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-da! <coughs> So you've got to remember his face. He's the one with the goatee. Now, the next guy that I get has just a mustache. It's very, very similar. Uh, again, we have to attack him and kill him off anyway. But it's not this next guy, but it will be the guy after that. Obviously, you know, get your weapon out and smash him out anyway. Shouldn't hit him. And when we finally do reach this guy, make sure to switch your weapon almost immediately and then press the X button to knock him out straight away. So whatever you think is the best weapon, you need to attack him before he nips off. Because you have about three, maybe four seconds before he's like, Right mate, I'm out of here. And I turned Australian for some reason. <laughs> anyway, so now we're moving on. Now we've only got one more character to get. And again... <sighs> The randomness of it, it's, it's fun, but it can get tedious, especially if, if you've been doing this for sort of 10 to 15 minutes. But basically, this guy's not on a bike. So you got, obviously, this fat guy. I had to, I think it was about three or four times of beating this bloody bald fat mofo. Uh, but this next guy that we need, uh, we need the goggles. And basically, he's on like a, he's like a scientist. And he's on like a, fut a futuristic looking bike type thing. And you'll see exactly what I mean now, because it just does not look like any banging, legendary, hardcore, manly motorbike. And he is coming up, and he is... There he is, look. So he's on like a sort of uh, Space Age 3000 motorcycle. Now, the only way we can attack him is when he puts his head up like so, now. But he's going to put his head back down. Don't attack him yet. As soon as he puts his head back up, then you can attack with a plank of wood or whatever you want, so just knock him out. It'll only take one hit, but if you do um, try and hit him when he's uh, face down, you'll actually miss and you're going to fall off and you're going to have a bad time. So this, uh, th so we're finally done with that bit then. So as long as you've got that achievement, then we should be go uh, good to go. The 
getting the chainsaw with the fertilizer achievement but now this is a bit of a long-winded section again this takes a couple of minutes but we are looking for a secret cave and you, you can only do it with these goggles and the point where we need is uh, it, it'll have it, an exit will come up with a green arrow uh, but basically I will tell you where the point of where we need to go is So it's coming up then in just a second we're going to go over this sort of uh, over this little crest and then back down and then there's going to be a green arrow just as we start to turn left so hover your thumb over the a button once again so we're going to go down here and then we're just going to start nipping to the left and then this is where we need to be doing it so right about no 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 Okay, hopefully I didn't uh, put you off there, but this is where the uh, secret entrance is, and now we can move on. So, you know, personally, that last whole bit just took me about 15 minutes with the randomness of the bikers and everything. Hopefully it doesn't take you as long. And all we're doing is just um, following the road around for now. And we've come up to this ramp. We're actually going to be using this ramp to destroy some enemies and get another achievement. So... Uh, grab the ramp and then what you'll need to do is actually attach it to the back of your bike and we're going to go back over to the next screen. Don't go all of the way out yet. Click on the ramp once again and interact with it. And this is where we're going to get another achievement for screwing up some enemies. Again, you can watch the cutscene if you want, but it's really not necessary. Unless, of course, you're following and enjoying it, which I hope you are. And obviously you knew what I meant when I said we're going to be destroying some enemies. What I actually meant was we're going to escape. But the outcome's all the same. So, you know, no harm done. No one got hurt or injured, hopefully. Mm, sorry. Anyway, we're just going to slowly, slowly, very slowly walk back to our bike. And then... Uh, a couple of cutscenes are going to happen. We just need to basically go where the ramp is at the top of the screen to the arrow pointing right. It's a single hover lift unit. And it's okay. <laughs> come on, let's get to just just stop, stop talking like this. Let's just get out of here. And then we can skip the next couple of cutscenes. So we are about twenty minutes from the end now. We're now we're at this sort of tower kind of section so we're just going to keep walking down to the right until you see the arrow in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to be needing to get a few items from this guy so first of all pick up the joystick which is uh well directly in front of you there and again we'll be using that and this is going to get again come in handy a little bit later on uh, just use more basically what we need from this guy is the tw box of 12 bunnies behind him and the bunny in front um, but obviously, you know, that's stealing, and even though you're a hardcore murdering, mayheming biker dude, stealing's wrong, and I appreciate that. So have a look at the souvenirs just behind him, actually take a look at them, rather than speak to them, and what he's going to do is uh, turn around, and then as soon as he turns around, you need to quickly uh, look at the bunny and pick it up. The bunny by the left side of you there, so pick it up as soon as his back is turned. It is timed, uh, so he can turn around, but obviously if he turns around before you do it, you've got basically plenty of tries anyway. Just keep looking at these souvenirs. And then we can head back down. Then just go ahead, click on your bike, interact with it. 
and eventually we're going to get back on it. He's a little bit quicker at this point, which is very nice. And then a little bit to the left, you're going to see the black and yellow arrow. So point, uh, so click on that when you see it. And it's sort of a yeah, as you can see, it's sort of a hole in the fence that we can go down. Again, you can skip this next cutscene as well. This isn't needed for any achievements, even though it is extremely short. So you don't have to if you don't want to. And here we go. So basically, we need to get to the other side. But, as you see, there are a bunch of landmines in the way. And it's all random. So obviously, we are not going to be <laughs> trying that. But we are. what we are going to do is set the bunny on it. Now, this can take a while, but basically we need... All we're looking out for is that the bunny actually explodes with the mines. And that is why we need the 12, the box of 12 bunnies. It can take, <laughs> it can take about 30 seconds to a minute, this part. Then just wait for the poof to happen, and there's going to be a battery that we need to pick up. The battery from the now blown up and deceased rabbit. Sadly, it's a robot, so we can't make rabbit stew out of it, but there we go. We also get another achievement for getting the battery from the minefield, so now we can go ahead and head on back. And we're basically going back to the guy with the souvenir now. Or well, the guy at the souvenir stand. All sizes and colors. So go ahead, scroll across into your inventory and grab the now uh, alive rabbit uh, battery even. <laughs> Close enough. Put it into the RC car. And then what you're going to do is drive the RC car to the right of the screen. Make sure, obviously, the red arrow is on it. And we're going to go to the next screen. And our favorite long neck, noodle neck old man is going to start chasing after it. And we need to put it sort of... As you can see where my uh, pointer is right now, just keep clicking A on that. And it'll sort of go in between the... Uh, through the door right there. So... With that being done, we can now actually grab the 12 bunnies which we need. But this is very important. We need to save at least one bunny. Obviously, we'll be going through the minefield with these bunnies, but you need to make sure to uh, save one. So while we're using the bunnies, make sure to count them. Uh, it's always best. We're going to do a manual save uh, before we do it anyway, but it's always best to count so you don't accidentally use up all 12 and miss out an achievement a little bit later on so now we're going to get on the bike and then go sort of in the middle of the screen as you can see with the yellow and black arrow the minefield's been replanted tidy little vultures So there we go then, so it's definitely worth, like I said, making a manual save because we've got just one thing to do before we actually head on through the minefield. So the first thing that we need to do is go in your inventory and get the rabbits out. You can't place them next to you. You have to, for some reason, you get your uh, 12 bunnies out, place them on the minefield, but then they still come out next to you anyway, which we then have to pick up. So they don't just come out and they're all in your inventory, you actually put it down and very quickly, as quick as you can, pick them all up. Uh, you can miss one or two, but try and grab the bunnies. Uh, <laughs> I end up grabbing them all here, but of course, like I said, try and pick up as many as you can as quickly as you can. Without exploding would be handy as well. I don't want to set off any of these boys. But if you do end up exploding, that's why we got the manual save. Oh, if only it was that easy in real life, huh? So anyway, if you've got all the bunnies or as many as you can, make another manual save. Now, what we need to do here is basically place one bunny down on the minefield and it's going to explode somewhere. We then need to just follow that same path that the bunny went to. So he, if he's going to explode in another 10 seconds that we just got to go straight exactly where the bunny went it's going to create like this sort of little path that he goes anyway so it should, it's not too difficult but obviously try and stick with the same path as you can see there so but can the path sometimes may be a little bit uh, obstructed because of uh, Ben Throttle's big fat back big muscly old back so there we go so we've got the, the one path 
that we need to create so we just go straight up again try not to go too uh, far ahead he does stop automatically anyway unless you tell him to go for it so you just place it a bit further up sometimes the bunny may explode right in front of you um, again always worth counting out your bunnies as well um, because remember that we need to save at least one of these bunnies for an achievement later on. Also, sometimes it may go straight, and then other times it may do like a sort of jiggity jaggedy path. So just be careful with it. You don't want to end up in the rabbit stew as well. Only Futurama knows if uh, humans taste any good. Oh yeah, and you only have to really get uh, halfway through the minefield <laughs> before we get to it. Uh, but now this is basically every BDSM lover's dream right here being tied up like this. Sadly for Ben Throttle, it's not that. But what you need to pick on the dialogue is let me go or else first. Uh, and then say I'll call you names, which is the third option down. And then the second option down, which is diapered and dynamo, which is hilarious. But we need to do it in that specific order, those specific dialogue options, that gets us another achievement out. Diaper Dynamo. Fantastic. Ooh, nice boobs on. Massive. Hmm. Now this is a, this part is a little bit different, so we're basically in a sort of destruction derby kind of thing. But what we need to do is we need to, very carefully, don't go into the oil, that obviously slides you about all over the show. Go up to this ramp here and there's going to be a car. Aye. You little asshole. Jump me out of the way. Keep it beat. Uh, there's going to be a car that's going to crash right there. As soon as you see him, you just drive up the ramp. That's basically going to disable that car, uh, which we, de we need to do that. And then you're going to have to be slightly careful So uh, with this part. Because basically, if we just put um, grab this car and then put him all the way to the right side, there's going to be, I think it's the green car there or the blue car. It's just going to keep banging us out of the way. But if we bump this car down here we're actually not going to be touched so, which is always good so be very careful with it again try not to go through the oil and sludge and stuff because making your life difficult you just nobody wants that nobody needs that try not to get the car all the way over to the right because even though you can um, bump him up eventually you sort of end up uh, sort of end up doing it in extreme sections like I'm doing right here so, <laughs> Yeah, so try, um, yeah, try not to do what I did here, but don't worry if you did, because he, he, he will go up eventually. If you just start getting pissed off enough with it. It's a life lesson, if you start getting pissed off enough with life, then, you know, it'll always work. Don't worry about this cutscene. All we need to do is just bang this guy over the ramp, and then we're going to just jump over him as well. But this, that's basically the way that you have to do it. So as soon as that happens... Okay, boom, boom, okay. boom, boom, brothers. Mo, mo, mo. Right, so what we have to do here. You see the can't beat the corn only? You need to put that on fire. So just keep running up and down until the blue car starts coming after you. But you have to just keep walking up and down. The can't beat a corn sign there. Make it all on fire. That side all on fire until this cutscene happens. Uh, that looks a bit cramped. I can see where his wiener was. <laughs> and basically what we need to do is jump on this blue car... Uh, we need to basically intimidate, we need to get him to come to us. He's not, he's just going to drive around. Um, he's not going to bother until you actually get down onto the ground. So that's what we're going to do. So, you need to stay there for about a second just so we can see you. So get down on the ground in front of you and then, obviously when the car's coming, jump back, back up onto the car and then we're going to jump onto the blue car. So there you go, he's after us now. Um, somehow we are so good so very quickly you get a couple of seconds jump on the blue car and then when he turns around as soon as you get down sort of to the fire just click click a on the fire to sort of jump off and then we're just gonna run into said fire Bernie butthole McButthole McCard face style and eventually we are going to destroy the car and there it is but very important Keep this cutscene running. This is tied to another achievement, so do not skip this cutscene. It's it's not as long as the other ones, so it's just about 30 seconds to a minute or so. And holy crap, that's Maurice LaMarche! Everyone's favourite actor, favourite voice actor. 
awesome. <laughs> awesome. And I just realised as well, Mark Hamill is in it as well. As is Tress McNeil. As is Kath Susie. Ah. Oh my god, a voice actor nerd's dream. But there is the achievement anyway that will unlock as long as you didn't skip that cutscene. Now you can just click the first dialogue option and then click I'll see what I can do. So we don't need to go through this particular bit of conversation. And when we do, there's parts that are right next to Mo Mo Mo. And then all we need to do is look at it, but we need to basically find, I think, around four or five numbers. So the first one there is directly in front of you, um, just up to the left of that, and then if you open the flap, which is just underneath that, that will be the third one, and then to the right, sort of right, right top corner, open that flap up, and then just underneath that, that should be the fifth number. You don't have to worry about remembering these, Ben will have it all in his big chin noggin. So we should be good, now we can leave. I don't want to show them to someone important. So when we get off the bike, go into the building, basically where your bike is, and we need, this is a very specific sort of section of wall that we need to kick when you see you see these sort of uh, things at top going mad. As soon as all the four little black things in the middle are, uh, are just all in the middle and they make a little noise, like that, then we've got to kick a very, very specific part of the wall, and it's just to the right of where I kicked there. So it's a very, so we're going to do it again, look. So as soon as they all, all the big black bits go in there, the small black bits go in the middle and it sort of makes a noise, then that's when you're supposed to kick the wall. But it's the very, very small stone which you have to kick where I am right now. And then as soon as they're all in the middle, kick the wall and that opens up the secret hatch. So it's just there. It's, it's very... It, because there are lots of, sort of little stones there, it may take a little bit to sort of get used to, but you should be fine. It's the very, very smallest one. So... There's a floor safe right there in the middle of the room, so open that up. And now the number for this is 154492. So it's 154492. Then we're going to just head through the now secret door, or the now unsecret door. There's two doors that we need to go through, and we will be going through both. Uh, so get out the um, key card that we just got from the floor safe and do it on the right side door, the MM, Mark Marquez door, I'm going to call it, for some reason, for those that follow MotoGP. And all we need to do is basically, we need to just play around with these levers here to get a video working. So click on the left one first, once, and then the right one twice. So it's the left one first, and then the right one twice. And then this will happen. You don't actually have to watch the whole thing. Um, <laughs> burger melt. That's Mark Hamill, by the way. Rip Burger. How cute. And then once that bit's done, we can skip that and then go into the left door. The um, uninteresting door. And what we need to do is actually get the sort of stack of three photos or whatever it is on the actual whiteboard there itself and another cutscene will start again we don't have to watch that one though which is nice next slide shows our new more I uh... so you can just skip all of these cutscenes right here and this part is important so we're going to make a manual save basically because we've got an achievement for not dying from this point it's very easy enough to sort of not die anyway but it's more of a just in case. So with the grill first, what we need to do is open that up, and this is the point where we needed to save the bunny. So what we're gonna do now is put said bunny in there to destroy the fan. There are other ways, of course, you can do it, but you wouldn't get the rabbit ragu achievement. So then open up, the <laughs> you need to be quite quick with this pit. So we need to open up the panel and, and then grab Ripburger's cane as quick as he can. So you have to do it in a very specific spot, otherwise I'll just be grabbing his hand, which is um, homoerotic. But Ripburger, he seems to be into that stuff anyway. <laughs> Shoving the cane up his ass and everything. Anyway, what we need to do then is actually shove the cane inside the fan. That's the actual way we're going to stop it, not with the rabbit, of course. Um, <laughs> and that what we need to do now is on the right hand, we need to use the tie iron basically on the right side uh, pipe right there. 
absolute beast of a man is this guy. And then a couple of cutscenes are going to happen, and now we're like, oh crap, dude. So we get another achievement here. We haven't died yet, which is very good. Uh, again, just skip all of the cutscenes and then just move towards the ladder. Do not worry, you will get shot at, but you won't get shot. Unless it's one of those uh, cum shots, which he seems to like so much after being tied up in a BDSM uh, manner earlier. Dirty yet. Anyway, so the controls are broken, so we're going to have a little play around with them. Well, not play around, but we are going to click on the TV first. And then what we need to press is take off and then down to post take off. Then choose gear, which is the third one down, and then raise gear, which is the second one. Here goes nothing. Ben, climb back here quick. So a few more controls to do, but we're going to be getting a very missable achievement first. So click on the smaller screen right there, go to main menu, of course, down to defense menu, which is the third one down, machine guns, which is the top one, control again, which is the top one, and then choose the second option, fire. And what's that going to? What that's going to do is basically uh, <laughs> kill a seagull and get the achievement looming seagull. So. Nice one, and Rip Burger's is gonna have a laugh at our expense as well. So, you can screw off, son, because you're about to die. So, main menu again. Once again, down to defense menu. Go down. Uh, sorry, machine guns again. Apologies. Then control, and then system off. And then that is going to get us the uh, hopefully still rare achievement of Burger. Well done. And this is for defeating Rip Burger without dying. So like I said, it's very hard to die, but it is still possible, so just be very careful of that. And then click sort of underneath the lorry right there, and we're going to head back down. Nicely done, mate. So this is basically now the end of the game. We literally don't have that much to do. Uh, so just click on your bike, which is sort of to the left. Get to the left side of the screen as much as you can. Click on your bike. Click the fist icon, and that is the game. Da, 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 done. Beautiful, eh? And you get a nice cutscene as well, but you know we're just gonna we're just gonna be skipping them. But do not, I repeat once again, do not skip the credits. Once you see the credits rolling, you're gonna have to let them play, and they do take about nine to ten minutes. Rest in peace, Roy Conrad, the uh, Ben Throttle main voice actor. There, great performance. And pretty sad that we didn't get to hear him uh, in a lot of other stuff. He was sort of uh, minor voice characters in other games. But still, absolutely fantastic. What a game this was. So again, make sure to watch all of the credits. That will get us the penultimate achievement. And of course, that is for watching all of the credits. And uh, what we're going to need to do is actually just start a new game. And then that will unlock the... Unlock all achievements. Achievement. Uh, you should get it right here usually, but if not, we'll just start a new game and then that should be a thousand out of a thousand done. So, yes, thank you very, very much for watching, guys and gals. I hope, once again, this game has been very enjoyable. I hope that you've enjoyed the guide along with it as well. I will be also going through Grim Fandango and uh, Day of the Technical Remastered, so watch out for them as well pretty soon. Of course, if this video did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Obviously, you've got uh, Instagram and Twitter, also on Patreon. Now, all the links will be provided in the description below. Um, uh, a big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon for the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. But let's just quickly get this final achievement, if it hasn't unlocked for you. So you go back to the main menu, and you'll press A to start. Again, just click a new game, do not worry about it. And then it should unlock very quickly. There it is then. So yeah, if that doesn't happen, just start a new game, and you will get the full throttle achievement for unlocking all achievements. So, that's it guys and gals. Thank you again very, very much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Big love, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs>